Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and I'm the Professor of Percussion at UNC Charlotte. I'm here today to play you the 2024 NCMEA Concert Snare Drum Audition for grades 11 through 12. And this is part one. Part two is a technical, rudimental type of solo with a tambourine component as well. I'll put that up in a separate video. So before we start, let's talk about the equipment that I'm using today. I'm using a heavier set of rosewood sticks that I make. Uh, these have a barrel tip, which I really prefer for this articulation, a lot of articulation in this solo. They also work well for rolls. And the snare drum is a concert snare drum. It's a Pearl Philharmonic Tamo Ash. It uses different kinds of snares than the drum set snare drum. You see those there. Okay, uh, that's important when you play your solo audition. You don't want to necessarily play it on a drum set snare drum. So I'm going to put this back on here. So you can bring your own snare drum. Uh, hopefully they'll pro provide one that's a concert snare. It makes this soft stuff very easy to play uh, compared to a regular drum set snare, which has the curly snares and it's not as sensitive. So this solo is, is somewhat difficult because of the counting component to it. So I'm using a metronome so you can hear where the time is, and I'm subdividing it on eighth notes. So the eighth note stays the same. So in other words, throughout the whole solo, you're hearing this. And that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so no matter what the meter change is, that eighth note will stay consistent. So no tempo changes or anything. So the solo starts with this theme here. And that theme comes back at letter B as well. That's uh, the thematic material here. And first at letter A, it doesn't have any embellishments. But at letter B, there's some drags added. So you should play this somewhat strong. Uh, it's forte. And those accents are, would be considered fortissimo. So leave space to play the accents in the second bar. So before I play these types of things, I like to set my dynamic levels. So the softest thing in this solo is pianissimo. So, and the loudest would be, and you want to set those parameters before you start working on the solo. It's a good idea as well to maybe play it a little slower. Uh, and you can slow this solo down on YouTube. If you go under the settings, it gives you several options for slowing down the solo or speeding it up. But I am doing it at the written tempo of quarter note equals 120. So let's start here from the beginning, and we'll do two lines at a time. So the first two lines, like I said, we state this theme, but then in bar three, we come down right away. And there I'm going to the edge of the drum as you'll see, and that's piano. And then we do a crescendo roll into line two. So that's a hairpin up and a hairpin down, meso forte, and down to piano once again. And then we do another crescendo into letter B. So I'll play those two lines for you. One, two, three. couple things to talk about here. First of all, the drags are all going to be played closed. Not open like this. You can play them slightly open, but I prefer at this tempo, which is, like I said, 120, it's quick. You want to play them short so you don't lose time there. Now, the trickiest part of these two lines is that, like I said, hair pin crescendo up and down at the end of the first line. So the underlying pulse of my rolls is 16th notes. By underlying pulse, I mean the rhythm that I'm using to play the buzzes. 16th notes, and then you buzz those rolls. When you do that crescendo at the end of line one, you want to come up from the edge, so move towards the center, 
and then back. And a slight, very slight accent on beat one of the second line. Just an emphasis, not really an accent. And then we get to letter B. This is the tricky spot of the solo, these two lines. And uh, you get really, really soft the second, uh, well, the fourth line of the piece, really, uh, which is pianissimo. So right at the edge, and this is one of the softest spots of the solo. So I'll play these two lines for you. One, two, three. So counting-wise, be really careful there, especially the last bar of the fourth line. You have this. One, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me counting there. Uh, play those 30-second notes tight. So one, two, three. And then come up. Maybe not that much, but to mezzo forte. Okay? And then letter C, you're down again at the edge of the drum and you're playing these rolls and they're doing a slight crescendo to MP there. So I'll play letter C for you. One, two, three, four. So that's to the end there. And uh, you've got to count, especially that 6-4 bar. It's easy to lose count there. And don't accent that roll. It's subito piano right away. And the last note is pretty much the loudest thing in the whole piece. Don't overplay it. No rim shots. Just nice and thick. A big note there. Okay? So that's the solo. Now I'll play it here again for you. Uh, with the click, but you won't hear the click, so you can hear it without the click. And I wish you great luck on your audition, and we'll see you soon.